Yay, welcome to Love Vibe TV. I'm your hostess, Reverend Lunch Lady, and here we are in the Unicorn Pasture, the super loved worldwide headquarters. And I am so excited to share with you today an activation. And an activation is something that you can keep coming back and listening to it because it has layers and layers and layers and layers of basically energy transformation and shifts that are speaking to you at the subconscious level, speaking to you at your cellular level. And each time you bring it in, then that's like awakening more possibilities for you. And I made this one specifically to support you in opening up to create your super loved life. So let's just talk about that for a minute. And this is actually included in the activation. Like when you know what it means to be super loved, in super loved, we are focused on what it takes to create a conscious loving relationship to call in that beloved. And this method and this way of being is actually the same thing that creates more money, that creates you know, a new job that creates you a free cup of coffee, like all of this stuff is not different. And in fact, whether you're calling in the love of your life or a penny in the parking lot, it's the same. So what is possible when you remove that significance, we've talked about this before on this channel, and actually allow everything to be the same because as soon as you put this like intensity on it like oh my god that's so big that's so hard then um you're you're pushing it away you'll notice that when you get into the place of um cert just like of course that's gonna happen then it happens so um i call this you know really activating your dna and we'll talk about what that means but our dna is what makes us it's just who we are it's just who we are and we learned the other day the mantra that just is, yeah, of course, that's who I am. Yes, I, I, that's who I am. Of course, it's just what I do. That's just who I am. Of course, I can't help it. It's just who I am it is a really powerful energy, which is in this activation too. So what does it mean to be in a super loved relationship? What does it mean to have unicorn love? What does it mean to be a unicorn? Because many of you, I love to refer to people in my community as unicorns and not because it's the like kitschy new thing in the Marshall's clearance rack, which is really annoying that it's like everywhere now, but let's go to beyond the like retail part of it. The message of the unicorn is extraordinary, and that is the unicorn represents that which we don't think is possible in the 3D. We don't think unicorns can exist in the 3D. We have this mythological thing, and how often have we been present with our own desires and, and just been like kind of excited? But then sort of in grief, like, well, that can't happen. Like, oh, my God, I would love to live on an island and be with my lover and make lots of money and make art all day. But that's not going to happen. Like, what do you know that is that sort of beyond that impossible dream that is your relationship, is the money you earn, is the the mission that you have on the earth, creating, um, speaking on stages, uh, writing books, or, you know, healing the world, feeding the children, whatever your mission is, know that that is your mission. Like that desire, that awareness of that is what you're here to do. So that's when we connect in with the DNA. The DNA, the unicorn DNA is an acronym that I created because we know what DNA is. It's what makes us. So you're not going to be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to throw away this DNA and get new DNA. Can you, can you change your being? You can like through your thoughts and through your um, mind and through 
the choices you make, you can, you absolutely can evolve. And that's this core part of you. The DNA is the makeup of who you are. So if you know, which you know right now, I'm speaking to yourselves, I'm speaking to the deepest part of you that is you that wants to be heard, that wants to be known, that wants to be acknowledged. So hello, DNA. Hello, DNA. And what's most amazing thing that comes with the DNA is doubt never always. Doubt never always. Doubt never always. I know that sounds ridiculous. Macy, that doesn't even make sense. You're so weird. And Macy, do you even know how to use eyeshadow? No, I don't, but I like it. Okay. Um, so DNA, doubt never always, is a mantra that I created to stop doing the space in between the desire and what you're seeing in the world. Doubt never always is the filter that you live in. It is the knowing what you know and that you know. It's the knowing that you know. It's the knowing what you know and that you know. It's the knowing what you know and that you know. It's the knowing what you know and that you know. That is everything. There is no separation in that. You are that. You are the desire. You are the awareness of the desire. And the desire is yours. And it is here. If you have studied quantum physics and all the sort of science of creation, your awareness is actually tapping into the reality that's already doing that. So you, you're you aware that you would like to share your life with someone because you already are in some time and space. Yeah, I know, woo, 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 woo. But really, this is a powerful way of being. I've created so much in the shortest amount of time that um, I can attest, I can be that, telling you that there is nothing you can't create. And so the DNA is doubt never always means that doubting is irrelevant. It means you don't, it doesn't even like, it's like you're a puzzle of this beautiful unicorn you, and you're taking a puzzle from a, another, you know, the Eiffel Tower and trying to like fit it into this. Like doubt is like that. Like that, no, that's throw it away. It's not for you. Doubt is not for you. So, practicing doubt never always is an energy. And as you're here, you are receiving it and just even noticing, lowering any barriers to receiving this message. Just by hearing the words, lowering barriers, you're lowering your barriers to receiving this, that your barriers lower. And if you don't believe me, just go like this, push them down, push them down, push them down. And just noticing the energy and the consciousness of what's here and be open to receiving the contributions from everything. So what do you know about your desire? The super loved woman is empowered in knowing that her desire is hers. The super loved woman is knowing that there's nothing she can't create. The super loved woman also knows that no matter what happens, things are working out for her. And the super loved woman knows that she lives in a reality of infinite choices. So how much fun can you have knowing that if you are, you know, aware of some a choice that you made that isn't really working for you, make a new choice. That's how you be you as a unicorn living a super love life. So many of you may be listening to this. You may have already turned it off, but I want to acknowledge you as the unicorn you. And if you don't resonate with the word unicorn, who cares? What I'm talking about with that is all of us who are unique, brilliant beings who may even look like the corporate woman, may even look like you know, the medical practitioner 
in these settings where you're kind of looking like the thing, you may be in an executive position, you may be a lawyer, you may be a teacher, you may be an artist, you may be whatever you are. If you've ever felt kind of like an outsider, if you've ever felt like, wow, like maybe I don't fit in, which is really my story. Like I, I call it the weirdo advantage because I felt like, okay, I, oh, I was rejecting myself for so long, trying to be the woman I thought men would like, which even though I'm not that it was, I was trying to be that. And I didn't even know I was doing that. And it was this like whole cycle of basically rejecting myself. And you don't have to do that anymore. Like what I learned was when I stopped that and when I woke up and said, wow, I'm actually not being me. I'm actually not even showing the me that's in me. All this time I've been judging myself as too weird and I haven't even allowed whatever that is to come out. And no wonder people aren't getting me. No wonder I wasn't attracting the people that that matched me because I wasn't attracted to me. I wasn't on my own team. And I'm not even talking about self-love right now. You know, I know that, you know, that's kind of a a, word, a phrase, self-love, maybe it's one word, thrown around quite a bit. I, I personally, I get it and I, I don't like totally love that word, self-love. What I, what I play with more is like, how can I honor myself? How can I celebrate myself? How can I appreciate myself more? The word appreciation, and this may not be you, the word appreciation for me immediately sort of gives me giddiness. It's like, oh, I can appreciate me. I mean, and it's not accepting me. So that's another thing. So if you're going, well, I, I can accept myself the way I am. Frankly, I hate that word. Because I know hate is a strong word, but um, I'm a pretty fiery person. Okay. Um, I, I really hate the word acceptance because in acceptance, there's already a judgment. You know, there's already a, well, there's a shitty thing that I better get over. That's the energy that I sense in it. So I invite you, and I learned this from my studies with access consciousness, and it really changed a lot for me, is that getting into that appreciation of you, that honoring of you as your unique unicorn being. Because it's it's not even like jumping on the unicorn train. Okay, now I dye my hair purple and wear tutus to the grocery store. It's not being another thing. It's not modeling another thing. It's just being able to be present with you enough to go, oh yeah, I live in Colorado and I'm I'm actually kind of indoorsy. That's very unconventional of me. Um, but I don't have to pretend like I'm going to climb 14ers. I don't have to pretend like I am an avid skier. And once I got to the place where it was like, oh, all this time I thought that no one would like me if I weren't those things. And I was doing it unconsciously. I just thought, well, yeah, you that's, you, you know, you want someone to like you, you better be likable. And this is how I defined likable. Um, of course, you know, it's also true, true that if you want to meet people, you have to meet people. And if you want um, to connect with people, you have to be connecting. And, and if you want um, to make friends, you want to be interested in people and, and releasing all the the uh, default judgments and the things don't work and all of the things that are kind of outside that DNA, the DNA, doubt never always. So you're not doubting yourself. You're not doubting, um, you know, the, the things that are showing up in your life, even if it looks like chaos, like what else is possible there that you are, you know, rising above the things in your life and being willing to be present with it and get curious about it and see what's there and make some choices and be 
that super loved, beloved person for yourself. Even if you're in a relationship, you want to check in with this for sure. And so this class is inviting you into that, like being that person that has your own back, being the person who actually says yes to those desires and doubt never always, doubt never always in your DNA. It's of course I attract amazing guys. Of course I attract amazing women. I can't help it. It's just who I am. Of course things are always working out for me. Of course I am turning heads in the coffee shop because I have so much charisma. Like you get to bring that, even if you're an introvert. So don't say, oh, well, she, but she can, because she's, she, you know, she has a big, huge following and everybody, you know, loves her and na, 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 na. Thank you. Bye boy. Um, but you are only as available as you are to you. So how much kindness can you bring to you? What's that um, intimacy, intimacy and vulnerability you can have with you to say, hello, hello, what's happening? And whatever's happening, you may be having a, a tantrum about being on the customer service line for two hours or something. There may be something annoying. It doesn't mean you don't have to have like um, moments, you know, I have a lot of moments. I love having moments sometimes. It's kind of fun having moments, you know, and what can you be for yourself that matches the creation of your desire? The more you can be that, of course, things work out for me. Of course, I'm adored. That is what will quickly actualize your desires in the 3D. And it's not about looking at the world and saying, okay, well, no, it's not here. No, it's not here. See, my bank account, no. See, I'm alone. It's Friday night. No, you continues to stay in the space of your super loved vision. And sometimes it'll feel delusional. Most of the time, I find that it feels very like anticipation, like, oh my God, I already know what I'm creating and this is so exciting and I am so powerful and abundant and magical and uh, yeah, I'm a unicorn. Oh my, unicorns, they make the impossible possible. I am that. I am that. Oh my gosh. I am that. I am that. I am that. So know that, know that, listen to this, keep listening to this. You are way more powerful than you think and you to expand in those ways. You are brilliant. You are magical. You are here because, you know, you're listening to this because you are this. Yeah, sure. There's, there's some muggles out there, but I promise you anyone who came to this, they were siphoned out. That's also in the the magic of this video. If you're still here, you're different in a great way. There's only only your difference is only meant for greater here. So um, just know you don't even have to ask 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 the question. Um, is this really me or oh, she's only talking to those people? No. If you're here, this is for you. This is your sign. This is your the change you've been asking for. This is the miracle you've been asking for. Notice what that is and know that you, just by listening to this, are closer to that, that it's actualizing even faster and faster and faster and faster. And it's here. And as you hear these words, you actually embody that. You embody that relationship. You embody being spooning your beloved on the couch. You embody traveling with your friends or your your lover and going around the world you embody 
having more than enough money than you can possibly spend. You embody being adored. You embody being adored. You embody being adored right here and now. And that is your truth. That's it. Doubt never always. Doubt never always. Be in your super love. Be in the energy of your creation. You've got this. Yes. If you like this, share it. What other unicorns do you know who could use an activation like this? Plan a time right now when you're going to listen to this every day for the next 11 days or something that pops for you. What number pops for you? Look right now. Boom. What is it? Do that. And then we will see you back here really soon. Like, comment, subscribe. What do you want to know? Tell me. I want to hear. Yay. And you can find out all the sorts of information about Super Loved in the description. Thanks for being here. Hallelunicorn. We'll see you really soon.